what is good youtube welcome back to the channel if you're new make sure you subscribe if y'all do enjoy the video do me a huge favor by leaving a like it really helps out the video as well as the channel i already know what time it is we's back with yet another hunt video i told y'all we finna be going crazy all august it ain't even august but y'all already know what time i'm on i told y'all i'm bringing hella hunt videos and today we did pull up to a whole different city to look for figure warts again if you are new make sure you subscribe if you enjoyed the video make sure you leave a like let's get into it y'all see where we at the first location is a walmart we finna go in here and see what they got oh for real i do see that they finally in this walmart I got the Ultraman. They got a bunch of these figure wars. Ultraman is cooling right here. Do got a bunch of Deadpool stuff and all that Stranger Things at the top. As far as an actual anime section, I'm not finna lie. They don't got no figure wars cooling over here yet. Do got that Goku Black Dragon stores, but other than that, we're just looking at some statues. Somebody put that in the wrong area, but other than that, like I said, that's the only thing Dragon Balls and little is down there. All right, man. Let's see what they got. And it's looking like. The only thing that they got is this trunks cooler right here, bro. Mm. Which is crazy, because this Walmart was packed with them trunks. They had them overstocked bad here, bro. And the only other thing we got is Dragon Ball is this Janemba 2 pack with the Dragon Stars line. But, I mean, who wants that? Ooh. I don't know if there is any. Yeah, that's the Piccolo 2 pack from the superhero movie. But other than that, not seeing any other figure wars here, which is crazy. Because, like I said, it was overstocked bad with trunks figure wars over here. But, yeah, man, I'm not seeing anything else other than that. They do got, of course, some Naruto statues cooling right there. Got some mega predator it is unfortunately about it we is gonna go to the toy section so let's go all right man coming into the toy hall all oh, rip i'm not seeing anything new as far as the transformers at this walmart pretty sure this was all here last time from what i remember star screen and a bunch of other now hold up do got a scorpionized cooling here, so that might be new. They might have had new stock at some point. It's all just been sold out at this point. But yeah, man, it is looking pretty empty. They do have a clearance sale, so I'm guessing this is at every single Walmart. They do again, got a bunch of the King Kong and Godzilla stuff still cooling here. It's gonna be the same for the turtle stuff. It's all a bunch of the same stuff still cooling. Ain't nobody been buying none of this stuff at all. Coming down to the Marvel Legends, I'm not finna lie, I don't think they got any new stock in at this Walmart. It does all look like it is the same exact stuff that we've been seeing. Come on, bro. Two of them. And I ain't even finna get it, because look, it stayed too. Yeah, man, as far as Marvel, it's not looking like we got anything going on over here. Coming down to the DC. Honestly, like I be saying in all my videos, bro, I be wasting my time talking about DC, because they don't never get nothing, bro. Let's get into the next thing. We got Star Wars right here. Now, I'm not gonna lie, even the Star Wars is the exact same. Bunch of Darth Vader's, bunch of those Mandalorians, more Darth Vader's. It's ridiculous how overstocked that thing is. Over here, we do got the Infantry Mandalorian, but other than that, Pretty much the same thing we've been seeing at every single Walmart as far as Star Wars. Down here, we do got that new wave of the Iron Man figures, which I don't know why it's down here because this is not where the Marvel Legends is at. But nonetheless, they do have the new wave of Mar I ain't gonna lie, they do look long. I ain't finna lie to you. What is that? The Invisible Iron Man, I think. That joint is hard, but they do nonetheless have Iron Man way chilling out here. Of course, Dragon Ball Evolved. The only thing we got is a Gogeta Blue, and then we got a Trunk sitting right here. And then, of course, Got limit breaker series for Gito. But other than that, nothing else over here. Do got some Demon Slayer, got some Naruto, but nothing Dragon Ball. So with that being said, let's go to the next store. We did just pull up to our bars and those. We finna go in here and see what they got. Now I did have to actually do a voiceover for this part of the video for the simple fact it was packed in bars and Nova, so it made it a little bit more difficult to record, but I did nonetheless find a kaiju number eight, as well as something that I did not expect to see. And that being as soon as I decided to lift my head up, I did see the SH Regards Gohan, which is definitely crazy considering it is one of the figures I did just order. I wish I did know that it was at Barnes and Nobles, considering the fact that I would have just picked it up instead of ordering it but nonetheless they did have sh figures gohan in stock now that's not the only figure arts they did have in stock they did have some spy family figure arts as well as a bunch of different figures and statues in stock did end up seeing this live piccolo statue sitting on the top shelf now it's not something i would get into and collect but it nonetheless was live Right, man y'all see the next location we just pulled up to we had pulled up to yet another walmart we finna go in here and see what they got coming into the little collector section it look like they're in the midst of moving some stuff around but i can tell you right now it's wait man i'm not seeing anything over here for real like i said they is moving stuff because this stuff was definitely not over here we is gonna go to the figure wars section because it's looking like they don't really got nothing over here coming into the figure wars let's see this is the hood walmart so you know this is unlocked up bro 
but they do got the kaiju number eight still cooling right here as well as the dragon stars goku black but other than that i'm not seeing anything else the rest of the stuff is unfortunately just a bunch of anime merch they do got some demon slayer statues as well as some one piece statues but like i say other than that really nothing else you got them goofy naruto figures but i'm pretty sure nobody can like stuff like that unless it is big wars but yeah man kaiju number eight and that's about it we're gonna go to the toy section all right man coming into the first toy aisle with the star wars i ain't even gonna waste my time because it's literally just the mandalorians as per usual as far as the actual toy aisle again it looks like all this transformer stuff is going on clearance even the actual studio series optimus primal's on clearance still got a bunch of the turtle stuff still chilling here as well still hasn't moved same exact stuff as far as the marvel legends i ain't even finna lie to you there's literally nothing right here as per usual they have yet to stock anything at this walmart and i'm pretty sure that's gonna be it for this aisle of the light next we're going to a target so you already know that'd be the best place for figure works so with that being said let's go all right man like i said you already see where we pulled up at we is at target we finna go here and see what they got all right man we is coming into the collector's hall and target i'm already seeing some figure works first figure works i do see is a bunch of these sanji there is a figure works trunks back there i do have these little mini dragon ball things again still the little statues but as far as figure works and like all we got is a sanji as well as a sh figure works trunks sitting here other than that they do got a dragon stars vegeta cooling up here do got again target exclusive vegeta still chilling we have a bunch of the dragon stars battle packs over here the like it's vegeta and gohan as well as the dragon ball superhero two pack with gohan and gamma one of course we got some goku model kids down there at the bottom as far as anything else well, I actually do like they did stock some Dragon Ball Evolve as well. Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, or Broly, another Blue Vegeta, as well as the new wave Goku. We do also have again Broly, a couple Ultra Instinct Son Goku's back there. That's gonna be the same thing back here as well. We do have some Limit Breaker series, got a Super Saiyan Blue Goku, as well as a Super Saiyan Blue Gogeta and a gohan of course we got the other stuff like demon slayer and then we got the naruto stuff at the top but as far as stuff we're looking for i don't see anything else do have some mcfarland demon slayer up here i don't know if this it looks like a new wave but i have no clue what any of this is so i can't speak on that for real do have this mcfarland batman up here as well now, i'm pretty sure this is new this is some mcfarland bleach pretty sure this is 100 percent new and it definitely got some cloth on it which is long again i have no clue what this anime is it's something that i heard was good but i've never watched it yeah man there is a couple things of dragon ball in stock again they got dragon ball evolve as well as some dragon stars over here as well some more dragon ball evolve and then of course we do got the super saiyan trunks back there as well and of course the figure art sanji so make sure you check your targets because they might have this in stock just like they do be having the super saiyan blue goku in stock hey, yeah we finna go check out the toy section all right man coming into the first First toy section we do have some guys in Lung kong cooling here on target we do got some turtle stuff as well coming down here to the star wars it does look like we got the same exact stuff we see at every single walmart and target it is darth vader as well as the mandalorian i'm not thinking that there's anything that, nah it's the exact same stuff we see in every location it does look like they are stocking the new transformers one movie stuff because as you can see that's all types of stuff from the movie in here. No studio series, unfortunately, but they do have studio series Will Jack, as well as a side swipe and another Will Jack back there. They also do have a star screen cooling right here, as well as the Optimus Primal down there. As far as DC, I ain't gonna lie. I do like this Batman, the Hush Batman right here. That joint is hard for sure. I don't know if it's new or nothing. They do also got this back there as well. And that version of Batman as well. Definitely a lot of Batman stuff in stock for sure. Coming over here. We do have also again some old Batman. So they definitely going crazy with the Batman. That's probably their best seller besides Superman for DC is obviously Batman. As far as over here with the Marvel Legends, I'm not gonna lie to you. They really don't have nothing other than again, this goofy Spider-Man. Well, it's the Iron Man from Endgame. And they do got that huge Magneto Marvel Legends helmet as well. Other than that, nothing else worth anything. They do got the kids toys down here, obviously. I'm not gonna lie, this little pack right here is a lot. This reminds me of something I would get as a kid. They have Spider-Man and Green Goblin at like a four inch scale and they are actually articulated. So I'm glad they're finally breaking articulation back to like little toys like this it definitely reminds me of something i would have picked up as a kid for sure and that is about it as far as the toy all nothing else in here so with that being said let's go to the next location all right man you already see what we all we did just pull up to best buy we're gonna go here and see what they got all right man we is in the collector's aisle now i'm not gonna lie but like there's just a bunch of NECA stuff cooling right here there is a bunch of people here so i gotta be quick but they do nonetheless got a bunch of NECA horror stuff right here as far as figures there is literally no figure arts in style they do got this dragon ball superhero 
be him a one. But other than that, we're just looking at Dragon Ball statues like this and a One Piece statue. Don't think there's gonna be anything else anime, man. It's just gonna be like DC, McFarlane, and again, a bunch of NECA stuff. Unfortunately, no Dragon Ball. So let's go to the next place. All right, man, the last place we is gonna be pulling up to is nonetheless a comic book store. We finna go in here and see what they got. Back again with another voiceover. They had music blasting in this comic book store, which would've got me copyrighted. But nonetheless, we do have a bunch of figure arts in here. For sure, did not expect to see a Mr. Satan in here because I've never seen one in person yet. Hey, yeah, man, this is just pretty much me showing y'all around the whole entire show. They do have a bunch of different figure arts like Naruto and all that. And they do also have a demonical fit, Kaioken Goku, as well as the original release of Super Saiyan Tron. Hey, yeah, man, the rest of this is pretty much me just showing y'all around the rest of the anime stuff in the store. So I definitely hope y'all enjoy it. All right, man, we is back at the crib. And as y'all seen in today's video, they did have a bunch of figure arts out today. They had a good amount at Barnes & Nobles as well as a decent amount at Target. However, of course, at Target, they just had the Sanji. They didn't really have any type of Dragon Ball or anything, just the trunks. But like I said, Barnes & Nobles, man, it's crazy because I would have grabbed that Gohan today but one of the surprise figures I was going to be reviewing for y'all that I did order when I ordered three figure arts I did was nonetheless that exact Gohan for the exact same price. So, I mean, either way, I got it on the way. It's supposed to arrive tomorrow. I ain't gonna lie. I wish I did know that they had it in stock at that specific Barnes & Noble because I would have just got it in person instead of ordering it. But nonetheless, like I said, we did see a good amount of figure arts out there. So, I definitely was a decent hunt. I hope this video motivates y'all to go out and check all y'all stores and see if y'all can find any new figure arts or anything like that. Hey, yeah, with that being said, if you're new, make sure you subscribe. Enjoy the video. Make sure you leave a like to the amount. Stay tuned.